हेलो एवरी वन असलकुम एंड वेलकम टू क्लास ऑफ उमर खान दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट सेक्शन फोर ऑफ पेपर वन विच इज फर्स्ट इस्लामिक कम्यूनिटी एंड द पर्सनैलिटी दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज हज़रत साद बिन अबी वक़ास रजी एंड ही इज़ फ्राम टेन ब्लेस्ड कम्पेनियंस हज़रत साद बिन अबी वक़ास वॉज बॉर्न इन फाइव नाइनटी थ्री ए डी in pre islamic time he was not satisfied with his previous religion and he always had this um thirst and he always had this in mind that he wants to look for ultimate truth he was a great archer uh since his teenage he converted to islam when he was invited by hazrat abu bakr radhiyallahu anhu and he was among the earliest converts just like other companions he also faced opposition and persecution but he remained steadfast even his mother tried to uh, blackmail her emotion him emotionally by going on hunger strike but somehow he managed to make her understand that how important this new faith is for him so she uh, finally understood his perspective uh during the lifetime of prophet peace be upon him he was the first one to shoot an arrow by the muslims side it was before battle of badr during some uh, expedition uh also during battle of ohod he was among those 11 companions who formed a defensive ring to protect prophet peace be upon him during that time of crisis when quraish were trying to kill him and there were uh, you know different members of quraish who were approaching prophet peace be upon him but hazrat saad was not letting anyone get closer to him and this is quotation of prophet peace be upon him when he said that oh saad shoot arrows may my parents be sacrificed on you so this is one of the greatest honors that even prophet peace be upon him said that my parents to be sacrificed on you and this was um one of the greatest compliment received by anyone from prophet peace be upon him he participated in almost all the major battles his uh, life after prophet's demise will be discussed now he was commander of muslim armies advancing in persia or in other words you can say that persian wing was given under his command as commander in chief of you know um armies assigned towards north eastern border he led muslims in battle of qadisiyah you must have uh, read about this battle uh this is a very important part of our syllabus in section 3 of paper 2 rightly guided caliphs so battle of qadisiyah was one of the toughest challenges muslims had to face and it was one of the uh deadliest battles in the history of islam unfortunately because of some illness he could not even walk properly still he managed to lead his army by sitting on the top of uh, our two story building from where he could observe the battlefield scenario and uh, a chain of people was formed from hazrat saad bin abi waqas until army so he would give them guidelines and they would pass it on and his uh good leadership skills just because of his good leadership skills and his strategies muslims managed to crush the persian army in battle of qadisiyah he was the member of six potential candidates for third caliph you must remember ki hazrat umar ne apne uh intikal se pehle he formed a committee of six most senior companions who were supposed to be the third caliph it included hazrat usman hazrat ali hazrat talha hazrat zubair abdur rahman bin auf and saad bin abi waqas he was governor of kufa for four years and it was a very important and challenging job and he also faced some challenges some people uh put false accusations on him but uh, hazrat umar and everyone else knew 
that uh, he was beyond all this uh when fitna started fitna means the civil wars and different campaigns against hazrat usman and then his martyrdom and then followed by uh battle of camel battle of siffin battle of naharwan and other civil wars hazrat saad bin abi waqas distanced himself from all these activities and he did not participate in any of these once he was invited by someone that you should participate in this civil war he said that i will not participate in the civil wars until i get a weapon who could identify the believer and non believer so until i i don't actually know and i'm not sure about someone that this person is a disbeliever i cannot kill him so which is why he distanced himself and he, he was just living in some outskirts but uh, in 674 ad he died his funeral was led by marwan and he was buried in jannatul baqi so this was hazrat saad bin abi waqas one of the most prominent companions included in the list of uh, 10 blessed companions so that's all for hazrat saad bin abi waqas inshallah see you in next videos regarding different topics of o levels islamiyat take care of yourselves allah hafiz